What's up OGs, Hong Nguyen here, uh, OG Fitness, welcome back. So today I want to talk to, to you guys about uh, something that might seem a little bit off topic, but it's actually not, okay? Acne and um, how to get rid of it. Okay, so, you know, like this channel is more about fitness and, and martial arts, right, for older guys. Uh, but fitness, I mean, not just being fit, but being healthy too, right? Being healthy is part of, uh, of fitness. Well, actually, fitness is a part of being healthy. So anyways, I don't know why I, I chose fitness, but you guys know what I mean, right? Like um, fit is one thing, but you got to be healthy too. So, you know, maybe it's more like mm, martial arts and health. But, you know, I guess fitness sounds better. Anyways, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, when I was younger, when I was a teenager, I would get a lot of pimples. Like, I'll come a little bit closer here. Now, might not show very much here because I got lights like on both sides of me, right? So when there's lights flashing onto your face, well, you don't see, uh, you know, like as much, um, how do you call it? Uh, the flaws it, or, and the wrinkles, so to speak, right? Um, but it's not like if I'm wearing any makeup or anything like that, I don't wear makeup, maybe just a little bit of cream, moisturizer, you know, because the skin gets dry. It's winter up in this bitch, up, up here in Quebec, Canada. So, uh, yeah. So here's the thing. Like, I, I have a lot of scars from when I was younger. Uh, you know, when I was a teenager, so I would get a lot of pimples and stuff like that. So um, I didn't know why. You know, I, I, I try to take medicine, like, uh, you know, medication for it. Um, I also tried to wash my face, wash my hands multiple times a day, but none of that, none of that shit ever helped, you know? And as I got older, uh, you know, it came and it went, it came and it went. And at one point, uh, when I was about, um, I was about 30 years old and I was trying to put on uh, a lot of mass. So I was eating like anything I could get my hands on, anything that would, that would, that I would come across. And then I would get a, I, I, so I gained weight, I gained muscle, but I gained a lot of fat too, and I gained a lot of pimples too. So that's when I started doing a lot of research. I didn't know what was going on. And I fell on this book. It was called um, Three Days Acne Free, something like that, you know. And this book was really interesting because it opened up my eyes to nutrition, right? So what it comes down to, uh, this book actually, um, it, it <laughs> it's really funny what what it was telling you to do what it was it was written three days the title was like something like three days uh pimple free or acne free in three acne free in three days or something like that so when you read the book and i'm sure you could guys you guys if you guys uh um you know google it you might be able to find it in pdf format or online or on amazon uh, but essentially what the guy is telling you to do is to eat apples only apples nothing else and water for three fucking days Okay, I didn't explain where um, apples have this thing called pectin, right? And then that helps to detox your body, clean it up. And after that, like, boom, your pimples are gone in three days. So it was pretty interesting book. You had to do other stuff too, because you still have to like, um, if you only eat a ton of apples for three days and drink water, well, you still have to go eliminate, right? But the thing is, you don't have anything to eliminate. You just have like a little bit of apple and skin and whatever. So he had to use like this sort of water pump thing that he would have to stick up his butt and then like squeeze it. And now I didn't, I didn't go that far cause <laughs> I didn't, uh, I wasn't there. But what I did do though, was that I just ate a fuck ton of apples. Okay. And that helped. And of course, <clears throat> one thing, one key thing that he mentioned in that book was, you know, it's all about the food that you eat. And his extreme way of going about it was to, uh, attack the problem by eliminating everything and eat only apples so that you can really detox the body. But so the most important takeaway from, from, from this thing here is not eating the apples. You know, that's, that's probably pretty extreme and it probably, um, it did help though when I did it. But the thing is, if you, if you're having p uh, issues with pimples, right on your face, Okay, it's probably a food intolerance that you have. There's something that you're eating, okay, that's causing you to react, but it's a delayed reaction, okay? So you're not, you're not like eating it, you're not allergic to it. So it's not like if you're eating it and boom, you get this big ass reaction and it, your face just blows up and you get all red and blah, blah, blah. None of that. What happens is that you'll eat something that your body doesn't, uh, 
that your body doesn't really tolerate, right? But then it's only going to show up two, three days later as pimples. So you don't even know that it's that particular food that you're eating, okay, that's causing the, the, those, those pimples. So you just go about your day, you think, what the fuck, hormones or whatever. And even till this day, like I'm 40 now, and I, if, I, if I don't watch what I eat or if I eat garbage for a couple of days, a couple of days later, I have pimples, you know? Here, here, alcohol does it, of course. Uh, processed food does it, right? Now, some people are more sensitive than others, you know? Like some people can eat whatever and they don't get anything on the face, but some people do, a lot of people do. So if you're, if you're suffering from acne and stuff like that, you really just gotta clean up your diet, man. There's something in your diet where you have a intolerance to, okay, um, that you have to stop eating right now it's hard to figure out because you know you gotta kind of have to eliminate it but a rule of thumb is that if you eat processed foods uh you know so processed carbs sugar alcohol oil a lot of you know like just fats and shit like that you're gonna fucking break out if you're if you're intolerant to those things okay so you could be intolerant to just one of them maybe you know maybe two of them maybe three of them whatever but processed foods Okay, oils, fats, you know, and stuff like that. Um, process, you know, because if, if you get fats, ideally you get it out of like fucking nuts and avocado and shit like that, right? You don't just get it like in its pure form, even if it's uh, um, virgin olive oil, because you might, it might not be, uh, um, it might not sit well with you. You might be intolerant to that. It's like food intolerances, not food allergies. So to get back to what I was saying, processed food, processed carbs, sugar, oil, uh, any, any mostly most of the time it's those three things are gonna fuck you up you know if you're if you have an intolerance to it you're gonna get those delayed reactions and you're gonna get pimples on your face so essentially if you want if you're having if you're struggling with uh, with this kind of issue right and I struggled with it when I was a teenager then it came back at one point in my 30s and it still comes back now once in a while but at least I know now so like if I eat garbage like I could exp- I'm not I'm not like wondering why I got pimples a couple of days later so I think it was important to share that with you guys um, you know yes fitness and martial arts fitness right martial arts but being healthy is important important part of uh, you know life and 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 you know to be fit and to practice martial arts you know it's, it's a whole encompassing lifestyle right so you want to be fit but you want to be healthy too and um, of course you want to look half decent also right and let's not kid ourselves your face is, is what you, pr- you present to the world, uh, to, to, to anybody you meet on the street and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, uh, I, I know you could, you could go about it this way. I had a friend, um, by the way, he, he, you know, he has that problem. He still has that problem. And I told him, listen, it's, it's really w- about what you eat. But then he told me, well, you know, I just decided that I don't give a fuck anymore or whatever. You know, I could care less. You know, sure, that's, that's his choice, and I, I respect that, but I think that it's, a, it's quite a simple fix. What it is, is is processed foods, and if you eat less processed foods, you'll be healthier too, right? So, that's just me, um, but you know, you could choose that route too, where you could have that attitude of, you know, I don't give a fuck, and fuck it, you know, I'll just eat whatever I want, I'll have pimples, and I'll just like not care about what other people think. You could do that, but you know... That's, I, I think that that's, that's okay too, I guess. But for me personally, no, man, I, I, I don't want, I don't want to have, um, uh, you know, acne on my face and pimples all over the place. Now, if I eat garbage and it happens then I know, okay, I gotta, I gotta back off and chill the hell out with, you know, all the garbage and stuff like that, that I'm eating. So, uh, to reiterate, uh, you could, um, I'll try to find that book and put a link below, you know, the, the, uh, of acne free, acne free in three days. That thing where you eat like a, a ton of apples, <laughs> right? That was, that was pretty interesting. And um, what it is, so just to re, recap what are those three things, it's processed foods, right? So processed uh, carbs, processed uh, obviously sugar, uh, and processed oils. Those three things is probably what's getting you with the pimples if you're struggling with that. Delayed reaction, it's food intolerances or you know, intolerances to those things, those, those three uh, um, macros, yeah, macronutrients. All right, guys, so I hope this video was 
kind of insightful, kind of helpful. Um, I think so. I think a lot of guys struggle a lot about this, but it's, it's kind of a, a very, um, how do you say it? Like we don't talk about it enough, you know? Because we're like, oh, we're men, we, we don't care and stuff like that. But it's not true. Like women like guys who have better skin, you know? So anyways, that's it for this one. Thank you very much, guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, share this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.